Okay, um, I'm going to uh, show you how to get um, the uh, Avaya Tappy to work with uh, Encol. Um, I've got uh, in front of me a um, an example of uh, a uh, manager from Avaya. In this case, a version uh, version six. We go to the user panels, and we got different user setup in here. If you have, if you haven't got one, you just need to create it. Uh, let's say uh, Alex, for example, as a sample. As you can see in here, I've got the login name Alex and the password. Okay, it can be uh, numeric or alphanumeric. These two are very, very important. You create this user, okay, and you make sure that you remember the username and the password uh, for this login. Uh, okay, so when we then go on to the control panel, okay, let me just open the control panel, here we go. What I have in here, I go to the phone and modem options, okay, Obviously, I have installed the Tappy driver, the uh, single uh, single party that is provided with your uh, phone manager. So when you when you purchase the Navaya P Office, uh, you get the uh, the software that comes with that, including phone manager, and you have an option to install Tappy. You install the Tappy, you go to phone and modem options on your control panel. On the advanced option, you have the Avaya IP Office Tappy to service provider. Double click, you select single user. Here you enter the IP address of your IP office, and here you enter the username and the password that you have set up onto the manager into the Avaya configuration. Simple as that. So that's what you do. Uh, in end call, of course, uh, you have uh, you have also uh, the option to uh, set up the user. So you're going into end call. Uh, and uh, you go into the admin options, managers, user manager. You set up, um, for example, Alex as a user, uh, and you put the username and password for Alex. The password here doesn't have to be the same as the Avaya, okay, as the phone manager. It can be anything else you want. Um, minimum four digits, so one, two, three, four. And here you put a telephone ID extension. Okay, this is the same uh, telephone ID you've assigned on Avaya. So if this extension was to be uh, 252, for example, you assign it here. Okay, so you click on OK. I'm going to click on Cancel now because I don't want to save it. You click on OK and OK again. Okay, and uh, here we go. So you go back to the uh, to the configuration. You see Alex's extension is two five two, and a job is done. Uh, restart your computer. Most probably, uh, some sometimes Windows XP especially will require you to restart, and uh, you should be able to get a call to uh, communicate with your phone now. Thank you.